Hi, Wojciech Lepczyński here. Today, a quick tutorial in which I show you how I solve the problem with KMS access denied exception in Lambda function. I have a Lambda function here that stop all EC2 in all regions. But the Lambda function stopped working one day and shows error. Lambda was unable to decrypt the environment variables because KMS access was denied. You can solve the problem in several ways. The easiest way is to change the IIM role to another and return to the same role just like that. Choose new role, save. Now choose previous role and save again. Ok, let's get back to the code. Now we can test. As you can see, this time lambda function works fine. Lambda function can check all accounts, look for EC2 machines and stop machines. But for now it works in the dry run option. Of course, you can also do it with the CLI. Use command AWS Lambda, update function configuration, function name, add your function name here, role and add temporary IAM role. Now you can use AWS Lambda update function configuration, function name, add your function name, role add your IAM role. Of course, you can also remove the lambda function and add it again, but it's like using a cannon to kill a fly. <laughs> Why is this happening? Most often this happens when you delete the IAM role and create a new IAM role with the same name. I will do it manually to show you that it's true. If you are thinking, why would I want to do this? then think about something like Terraform. Terraform sometimes removes resources only to add them again with changed configuration. Now you see another error which is normal, not unusual. AWS takes some time to propagate permission. When you run the lambda function again after a while, you will get the error you saw at the beginning. Access denied exception, KMS and Lambda was unable to decrypt the environment variable because KMS access was denied. Change the IIM role to another and return to the same role just like that. If you want to know more about using IIM policies with AWS KMS, you can find the link in the description. Ok, that's all for today. Don't miss new tips and subscribe my channel. You can also check out my blog, Lepczyński IT. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.